right now I want to talk about invasion of Ukraine, man, by Putin, man. We are in unprecedented times. Nobody knew the Ukrainian defense force would be decapitated within the first day of intrusion. It has happened. They did not resist invasion by Russians. It's like they're surrendering. Is this the same mistake that was done by the West in Afghanistan? Who was holding the Afghanistan government intact and the moment they left the top boat, within a day, they even surrendered and within hours the Taliban was in the presidential Paris. Who are these sellouts? Is the West spending so much for less? The predictions of Americans when they were leaving Afghanistan was it will take two to three years before the regime falls because of the loyalty they had shown before. It was to their surprise. It happened sooner than expected. Why did it happen that fast? Corruption, disloyalty, and hereditary euphoria for Beatic population. <laughs> That's right. Do you want to tell us Jew had not seen these weak points? No, he had seen them. Because he had military advisors, but they did nothing. Now here comes Russia. What the world is dealing with now as an invasion by Russia is not something that started two days ago. This is something that was being planned since 2000 when Putin was the president, then Dmitry Medvedev became the prime president, Putin became the prime minister, then they changed the constitution, and then Oryach decided to put Putin in front to become the life president. Now they have changed the constitution. He's going to be the president for another 10 years. These people, they realize the mistake they made of allowing Soviet Republic to be disintegrated. Putin sat down 20 years ago and his group and they planned this. And that is why Russia was not investing abroad. They invested 70% of the government income and business incomes within Russia so they can be self-sustained. They knew. We want to do this and to come at a cost. And this is a cost. It has happened now. When you are seated in your house or in your office, do you know or do you think the implications of Russians invading Ukraine bottom-down trickle effects to you where you are seated? Do you think? Are you aware Russia produces 30% of the world crude oil? Are you aware? Are you aware Russia produces 40% of the world medical equipment and any other accessories needed in the medicine field? They might be made in China, but the origin of the patent rights is coming from Russia. Are you aware? of the loans the, Ch the, the, the Russian government gave out to African and other countries around the world through proxies of connectivities. Does it come to your mind?
in regard to that aspect. Where did Americans go wrong? Putin watched George W. Bush administration. He dealt with it. Putin dealt with Obama administration. He dealt with it. Putin dealt with Trump, the craziest, bullish supremacist of all. And now Putin is dealing with Sleeping Joe. It's the time. Joe cannot otherwise massive murder. He is a man of peace. And Putin is a man of ego. I lost. It's the time to test the waters. He's not testing the waters. He's implementing. He tested the waters with Obama. He tested the waters with W. Bush in Iraq. He saw how he emerged from there. He tested. This is not the time to test. It's time to implement from political arena, social and religious arena, economic and military maintenance, and technological advancement and even spacecraft techs. He is, right now, American companies, they are depending on Russian technologies to fuel or to design some sections of the airspace tech anatomies. And Russians knows this and when they were implementing the sanctions in 20, 2014 they exempted space technologies ask yourself why do you remember there's a time americans and the and the, and the russians shared the space ship to go to the space some years back why cost of budgeting doing the business because they knew they use similar technologies that's why it was exempted motherfuckers wake up you sleeping asshole motherfuckers fuck that shit nigga putin when he was invading georgia he was testing the respondents of the world, motherfuckers, man. Putin, when he angst Crimea, he knew this was the right time, man. These niggas still sleeping, sucking dick of West, man, nigga. For how long are you gonna do this? Putin. Soldiers, they have captured Chernobyl nuclear plant 60 miles away from Kiev where 1986 nuclear disaster occurred. He's holding hostage the employees and the workers who have been in that plant and the Ukrainian soldiers decapitated sucking the dick of the Vadil male Putin soldiers, motherfucker. I told you. I told you. This is it, man. I want to put it here the way you can understand it, man, nigga. I'm not slanging. I'm not tracking. I'm speaking in a way you can hear, man, nigga. The Great Reset began when the Wuhan shit was erased and the pandemic ravaged investment confidence and disrupted human interaction with his data routines. You felt the fucking shit, nigga. Now is the time for military intrusions. Nation will rise against nation, my nigga. This is the time, man. And be biblical if you read Ezekiel chapter 39 and chapter 38, whole of it. 
it is talking about this the gong the gong is russians mangong and his affiliations from the north heading down if you're in israel the north of israel is towards russia this is it nigga you're still sleeping you don't want to subscribe to this channel and hear what I'm talking about. You just view and go. All right. I spoke about having your own piece of land. You farm your own food. You thought I was joking. This is the truth. Don't be mistaken. Russia. is claiming Ukraine. It's like a father and a son in a tug of war with a woman who claims this is my son. And the father says, this is my son. And the father goes ahead and beats the mother and claims the ownership of the child. This is, this is the same thing. It's the same thing, man. <laughs> Europe and NATO is 20 years behind Putin's war strategy. Right now. It's confusion. They're just watching helplessly. Ukrainian president will be forced to free Kiev. And because all the airports have been closed down, and the road blocks have been implemented by the Russians. They are surrounding Kiev. And they will capture him. That's a defeated state. So how will Americans even flood Ukraine with aid, money? If Putin's regime is in control, how? Is the question I'm asking? This is a question I'm asking. Yeah, he's not a member, but you don't have any responsibility to keep peace. Then why did you go to Afghanistan? Where did you go? Libya. Where did you go? Vietnam, what were you doing there, nigga? Indonesia, East Timor. You know the Hineneous Act you did there in the early 70s. Suruhato, used by American CIAs to murder more than 3 million people. And because of political goodwill and loyaltyness of the regime of that time to American regimes, the whole genocidical implications and crimes went under the carpet. No political activism in East Timor. Up to date. So when Russians are labeled as aggressor and exempted from the world trading blocks, it's okay with you. Russia feeds the world. All the wheat, 70% of the world wheat, the bread you eat in your house comes from Russia. It's imported. The barley to make beer is imported from Russia. Medical equipments, medical facilities, technical know-how expertise is coming from Russia. Medical and engineering students studying in Russian universities. There are so many. The benefits of sanctioning Russia is to cripple the world economy. Russia has a population of 140 million active, healthier people. And you add the population of Ukraine, it's going to have a population of 200 million people. Intact population. Russia doesn't import food. They export. Russians, they don't go looking for the business worldwide. We go to them. And that is their nature. Recently, Erdogan Trajodan, the Turkish president, had to go to Russia 
to buy a 400 missile defense system for his country. He didn't go to America. He went to Russia. India did the same. They purchased the S-400 missile defense system, no matter the cost, because they really needed it. They knew doomsday is coming. And here we are, my nigga. You're still sucking dick there, nigga, waiting for the shit to pop up. You're so juicy. You're so juicy. Understand what I mean? You're so juicy like this thing. I'm popping up here, my nigga. You're so juicy. This shit is taking place. America is a prophesied Babylon. It's falling apart. It's, it's broke. It doesn't have anything. Right now, the GDP is dropping. America owes China trillions of dollars because in 2007, Great Recession, instead of printing money, they had a collateral agreement with China to give it back the dollar to America. And by the debt, that's why Chinese.